Hello, and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm here by myself, which is a little sad, but uh, not so sad because we have lots of new adult books, and I just really want to get them out on the shelf, zoom, 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 uh, and out into the hands of the people. And um, I think I have about 15 adult books, fiction and nonfiction, and I'm just going to go through them real quick because um, I'm really excited about them. So the first one, the first one is James Patterson, but it's sort of a new thing for James Patterson because he's doing uh, The Last Days of John Lennon. I don't really, yeah, it's, I think that would be interesting. And it looks like he has a couple other authors helping him, as he often does. Um, and yeah, I assume there's lots of pictures in there too. So if you uh, want a very famous author doing a take on a very famous musician. The new Douglas Preston and Lee Child, they work together and they have created The Scorpion's Tale. Another big name, Alexander McCall Smith. This looks like it's maybe not from one of his regular series. It has a slightly different style of cover and it's called Pianos and Flowers, Brief Encounters of the Romantic Kind, which almost makes me wonder if it's short stories or maybe interlocked short stories. Um, He's, he's a very charming writer, so if you're looking to fill up these winter days, it might be a good one. Uh, a little nonfiction heading in another direction, Hello Habits. Um, this is uh, by the author of Goodbye Things, which was a very popular book about getting rid of stuff, something that people often want to do when they find they have too much stuff in their house. And now if you just are trying to create better habits for your life, uh, this might be a good time to do that. And I love just the style of the cover and just, um, I'm personally not always into minimalism, but it does have a very good aesthetic. Another huge name, Robert B. Parker, is that has actually passed away, but this is by Ace Atkins, a new book in his Spencer series, and this is called Someone to Watch Over Me. Mm -hmm. I am detecting a sort of suspense thriller. This is called The Perfect Guests by Emma Rule. It says they'll do anything to stay. Oh dear, I don't know if they're the perfect guests if they'll do anything to stay. And it's, ca ooh, it's called a page-turning gothic. And it looks like it has a 1988 timeline and a 2019 timeline. I, I would try this one. This I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Ooh, oh, wow. Another different direction. We just grab them randomly. So sometimes they go all over the place. This one is called The Culture Warlords, My Journey into the Dark Web of White Supremacy. And surely if you've been following the news, you know that um, there has definitely been some dark stuff going on online. Um, and this is by Talia Lavin. Very timely and topical. Oh, wow. Another nonfiction. This is called American Baby by Gabriel Glasser. A mother, a child, and the shadow history of adoption. Oh, wow. Coerced adoptions from the 1960s. Oh, and then a DNA test in 2014, sort of reuniting the family. Coerced adoption is such a just terrific idea. So that sounds very heartbreaking, but I'm sure... Um, I'm sure very interesting. Uh, ooh, Marie Benedict, um, she has been very popular, very popular sort of historical fiction author. And this is called The Mystery of Mrs. Christie, which I imagine, just not even looking at the book, but there is this weird thing where Agatha Christie went missing for uh, like a week and a half. And um, so I imagine this is a historical fiction take on that, a real life mystery that I think remains a mystery to this day. Thomas Perry, Eddie's Boy. I'm not even sure. I have not really been following this. I think it's sort of like a thriller, um, action-y type thing, um, part of the Butcher's Boy series. And But I do know we already have some holds on this. Ah, an author I am fond of, Robert Harris, who writes sort of historical thriller, um, action-y books. And this is called V2. A novel of World War II, and it says victory is close, but vengeance is closer. He's really good at like having twisty plots. Like you sort of think a twist is coming, and you're like, I got this, I know what it is, and then it's like, no, no, it's something even crazier. Um, oh, and there's a cool map inside. Ah, so I'm dropping the book. 
Oh, it's about an engineer who wanted to send rockets to the moon, but instead he ends up working in World War II, sending rockets at London. Oh, interesting. So it's told from the German side. And then the other perspective is a young um, female English intelligence officer. Huh. Oh, this is such a sweet cover. This is by Jacqueline Winspear, who's a very popular uh, mystery novelist. She writes the Macy Jobs series, and it says, This time next year we'll be laughing, a memoir. I feel like that's very fitting now. Is this sort of feels like a dark period of our lives when we all have to worry about the coronavirus. So <laughs> this time next year we'll be laughing, and then the picture on the cover is just very sweet. And, oh, oh, this is a big one. Um, I know around here a lot of people are wanting to read this bag man by a uh, local uh, news uh, person, Rachel Maddow, co-written with Michael Yarvitz. And it says, the wild crimes, audacious cover-up, and spectacle downfall of a brazen crook in the White House. But I feel like it's meant to, everybody's going to assume that that's um, Donald Trump. But actually, it looks like it's um, maybe Richard Nixon. Oh, no, Spiro Agnew. Spiro Agnew. Uh, that's uh, two more books. Uh, oh, Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. This is one that's been getting a lot of good press there. He is looking quite handsome on the back. And um, his name is Emmanuel Ako. And I think um, he just, he's just... Uh, He's maybe a an NFL player. Sorry, I'm not a sports person. Um, but I think he was just talking to a lot of people about a lot of the racial conversations that have been coming up recently. And um, so he's sort of like, I'm going to write a book that will answer all the uncomfortable questions that people maybe want to ask, but like don't have anybody to talk to. And last one, another novel of World War II and Da Vinci's Italy. Whoa, that was a twist. We get so many novels of World War II, and then we get some historical fiction with Da Vinci's Italy, but I don't feel like they usually get combined. So it's a dual storyline, Milan 1492 and Munich World War II. And uh, so it's about a young woman who's sitting as a like model for Leonardo da Vinci in the 1400s, and then a art conservator uh, accidentally gives a, an Italian Renaissance portrait, presumably her portrait, to a high-ranking Nazi leader and then has to risk her life to recover it. Two women separated by 500 years. Lots of good reads. I think that people are going to be excited. I really, I always hope when we do these that there's like, anyone who watches one is like, there's at least one book where they're like, yes, yes. That one I'm interested in, even if you thought you weren't going to be interested in any of them. Um, so we'll have another video in the coming days with uh, kids books. And in the meantime, if you want any of these, uh, you can request them either by emailing us or placing hold online and we will put them out in the group. Pick up. Bye.